welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove dip powder with a drill. So right now I have Tips and Kiara Sky Natural on my hands and I'm going to show you how I did what is on my right hand to my left hand. The first drill bit that I'm going to be using is a medium grit, I believe, a diamond drill bit and it's a safety bit. It has a rounded edge so I can get close to my cuticles and not cut myself. The e-file that I have is from iGel Beauty and I really love this e-file. I just got it so I like to use it on a very low speed to start. Um, and right now I'm showing you the forward and reverse. So the way forward and reverse works is if you're using your right hand you use forward. If you're using your left hand you use reverse. Um, I didn't quite understand that when I first got an e-file, so I just wanted to include that tip for everybody. So what I'm doing now is I'm removing the top layer of gel um, that I have on my nail. I would normally take this step as well if I were to soak off my nails. So I always remove the top layer of gel so the acetone can penetrate through to the layers of dip powder. So um, I'm using the drill a little bit higher speed than I would if I was just removing the gel layer because I also would like to remove some of the color layer. This process really takes a long time. I think it probably took me close to an hour to remove all of the powder from my left hand, but I'm still learning and I don't like to make my drill bit rotate at a very high speed because it makes me nervous. Um, so right now I have sped up the, the film a little bit because it does take a while. So we're just watching a little bit of nail magic, aka sped up film. I started doing my own nails during quarantine um, and I found that I actually really love it. Um, so I've really only been doing my nails since mid-March and I've been playing around with all different techniques. Um, I thought it would be cool to start a channel to just kind of denote my nail journey and to share with people all of the things that I've been learning in a very short period of time. The next drill bit that I'm using is a very coarse uh, sanding band. I'm using this to try to remove as much of the color powder as possible um, without using the metal bit. So this sanding band is really sharp. Be really careful if you are using one of these. Um, I don't know if you can see sometimes um, on my right hand I accidentally nicked myself with it uh, on my thumb and it did leave a few marks so be very careful. Um, it didn't really hurt, I think, because my skin is so dry, it just kind of hit the skin and broke it a little bit, but I didn't really even feel it until afterwards, so. Um, just speeding this up a bit more, because this does take a pretty long time in order to remove this color. Um, this purple color was really hard to remove for some reason. Uh, harder than the other colors that I have on my hands, except for the glitter. That one was very difficult. So um, I am switching now to a softer, more fine grit band. This is a 240 grit from Panna. And I like this sanding band because it, it's a lot smoother. So um, I'm removing some of the length from my nail, and then I'm going to be using that sanding band to get a little bit closer to the color. Um, the file that I'm using is a McCart 100-180. Um, I like to use both of these sides in this removal process. And I do use the file a little bit to like file off some of the color. Um, I would never do any of this stuff on my natural nail, by the way. I'm only doing this because I have a couple layers of natural over a tip on my nail. So this is not to be used on a natural nail ever. 
I'm gonna let you witness some more nail magic as I speed through the rest of this nail. So I wanted to pop back in to just clarify when I'm saying that I am drilling over natural, I mean the natural dip powder from Kiara Sky. So I'm not drilling over my natural nail, it's the natural dip powder. And then I guess I should probably explain the ugly white grate thing that is below my drill and my hand. That is a uh, it's a vacuum, so it's a vacuum from a cart, and it sucks in the nail dust. So um, I really love to use this vacuum. It really makes a difference. When I clean it out, there's a lot of nail dust in there. So I try to prevent as much nail dust from going into my lungs as possible. Um, I'm also wearing a mask during this process. almost done this nail. I'm going to finish it up with a little bit more filing and hand filing and then I'm going to skip over to my middle finger um, to show you a little bit of the removal on there. Hello, I just wanted to hop back in really quick to say that I'm going to go ahead and speed this up some more um, so you can see me get through this middle finger. Um, you see that I switch my methods 
in how I'm trying to remove the color dip powder, um, you know, clipping it down, shaping it a bit. Um, I did have to go back after this whole process and reshape again, but um, overall, I was able to get all of the dip powder off with the e-file, so I'll let you see that for the rest of me working on my middle finger, and then I will pop back in in a little bit. So I wanted to pop back in because I'm about to start my pinky. Um, at this point, I had had enough with um, trying to go very slowly. So I hiked up the speed on my drill and I removed a lot of the purple with the metal um, safety bit at this point. Um, but I also wanted to give a little background. This is going to be my first video on YouTube. And I picked my name, Wine and Dip, because I really wanted to just incorporate two loves that I have, um, dip nails and wine. So at the end of this video, I will also um, introduce a really delicious wine to you, and you can check it out if you want to. Uh, I'll just talk about what it is, where it comes from, how I got it, and what it tastes like. And I don't know, if it broadens your wine horizons, then that's great because wine is delicious. So enjoy watching me take the rest of this dip powder off my pinky and I will check back in with you later. wanted to take this time to thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Um, I tried to add in a couple different music tracks. Let me know if you like that um, or if there's any suggestions you have. I am open to it. I'm still learning so be nice um, and I look forward to producing more nail related content in the future. Um, I hope that this was helpful, especially for someone who's a beginner. So thank you so much for watching my channel, and I hope that you look forward to my little wine review that will be happening next. And now it's time for the fun portion of this video. I am going to be reviewing this wine. It is from Burgundy. Just a fun fact, Burgundy is the name of the wine region in France, and it refers to the wines in that region. The term overlaps a bit with Pinot Noir. If someone's referring to a wine as Burgundy, they are talking about Pinot Noir. So this is the wine. I think it's very delicious and drinkable. You don't need to have it um, paired with food. You can enjoy it on its own. Um, and these are my adorable, I call them my Olivia Pope glasses because they have long stems.
are a Scandal fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I got this wine from WTSO. Thanks for watching. <laughs>